Hello, so I wanted to show you guys how to do Lab Zero just to make sure that we're all on the same page with Lab Zero, which was basically a very simple lab to open up ArcMap, make a quick map, and be able to make a PDF. So what you're going to do in this lab is be able to open up ArcMap, add a base map, find a place, add a point, uh, add some map elements, and uh, export the map to PDF. So the first thing is do is open up ArcMap, which you can do here under the search of the start menu. Just type ArcMap. That's going to give you the programs here. Go ahead and launch that up. Once you have ArcMap launched up, you'll see toolbars. You'll see things here on the side, like your Arc Catalog and your Arc Toolbox here as little tabs that you can click on. Here's your Arc Toolbox that we talked about in class. Over here, you'll have your table of contents. This is where your layers will go. And then of course you add your add button. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is push add data button, uh, the little drop down arrow right next to it. And you'll see here add data. We're going to use that in later labs for adding shape files and so forth. And then we have add base map. We're going to add a base map in this lab. Go ahead and click on add base map. Base maps are going to be web served map services from ESRI. And what's nice about them is that they're, they're global and they're full collections of GIS data that can quickly add some context to your maps. Um, what I want you guys to do is choose any one of these maps here. You have aerial photography, you have uh, road maps, um, open street map, which is like a, a Wikipedia style uh, GIS data set. Um, you have topography, et cetera, et cetera. Choose whichever one you want and go ahead and hit add. Then you're going to see this white blank screen have some context and, and you'll be able to see a map. I want you also to be familiar with toolbars and how toolbars work. So here you have your standard tools. You see I can drag a toolbar off of the screen. I can also dock it onto the side or onto the top. If there's a toolbar that's missing and you don't see it, you can always right click in any of this gray space and choose a toolbar, like the drawing toolbar. And then of course it's going to hover, you can dock it. You can also add toolbars by going to customize and here under toolbars you'll get that same menu where you turn on and off toolbars. Off of the standard toolbar, I want you to click on this little binoculars, which is the find button. If you click on that, you're going to get a window where you can search for elements. You'll see a dialog box and that box is going to have uh, different ways that you can search the data. Here under features, there's going to search within things in the layers, but you have also geocoded database libraries that are already built into ArcMap through online services again, so you must have internet. But you see here is a locator file and we can actually search just like you would search in Google with addresses or place names and so forth. If you drop down the menu here, you'll see North American geocoded services, US streets, uh, and world places, and even European places. Um, for now, I'm just gonna look up Georgetown, comma, Texas, and hit find. And it's gonna give me uh, different kinds of options here. And you can see here under the US city state, I have Georgetown, Texas, I also got George, Texas. Um, one thing that you need to know about ArcMap is that there's also this thing called uh, con contextual menus, and that's true with all of Windows programs, where if you right click on something, you'll have options that are particular for the place that you're clicking. If I right click on Georgetown, Texas, I have here an option to flash. It's gonna show me a dot here where, where uh, Georgetown is on the map. I also have an option here to click add a label to point. If I do add a labeled point, that's going to actually put a dot on the map that has Georgetown, Texas on it. Um, I also have options here like zoom to. So I'm going to go ahead and do zoom to also. Basically, I just want you in this lab to show a map, um, however, whatever kind of map you want. It's just be able to practice the steps of exporting a PDF. So um, just choose here with the uh, zoom tool and zoom in. Uh, to whatever particular scale uh, shows whatever you're whatever you're trying to show the best. Um, I'm going to choose this scale. 
I always hit this back to previous extents. Explore these different tools on the toolbar also. Whenever you're happy at what you're looking at, um, you have to know there's a difference between data view and layout view. Right now we're looking at data view and that's how you can see here the screen has a full GIS uh, data view work. This is where we will do most of our GIS work and analysis. Uh, but you can also switch over to layout view. And one thing that ArcMap and ESRI loves to do is that they make everything that's very important really small. So if you look here at the bottom corner, you'll see these two little arrows, one that says switches to data view, another one says switches to layout view. Click on switch to layout view, and that's gonna give you this kind of page. This page here should remind you like of a Word document. This should feel like a office application from now on. Um, you can rearrange the box by clicking on the edge of the corners, up and back and forth. You can then go over to this insert menu here and insert in things like a north arrow. This will give you a prompt with all these built-in arrows. Explore, see which north arrow you like the best. You can also insert in things like scale bars and you can see here all the different options for scale bars. If you click properties, you'll see here all different kinds of ways to customize it. You can also do things like insert in the title. Now we'll put that here. And you can even insert in legends. In this map, in this map, instead of using a legend, maybe it's more interesting to insert in a text, and this can end up being a narrative about what the map is. So here I can put National Geographic Map of Texas showing Georgetown's location. And we'll talk about in class uh, what is proper cartographic uh, design. Um, for example, one quick example here is that the scale bar um, at this scale should probably be in something like uh, miles or that, that's probably something that's going to be more or miles or kilometers something that's more useful also like the divisions here if you if you rescale the scale bar you should try to get something that's in divisions that makes sense like uh, 100 200 400 even even numbers that that people could use uh, quickly uh, okay when you're happy with the map, you need to save it, file, save as, and this is going to let you save an MXD file. An MXD file is not saving your GIS data, but saving your GIS project and links to the GIS data. So um, I'm going to go here and I'm going to call this lab zero. and this is going to save my MXD. You should save your MXD files because as you turn in maps to me and I give you comments, you're going to want to go back and fix things and not have to start over. After you save your MXD file, you want now to export your map as a PDF. And if I click on the file menu and I choose export map, that's going to give me the options here to export it as either JPEGs or PDFs. So here now I'll choose PDF, Lab Zero, PDF, and I'm going to export it, and that's going to save now this map as a PDF document. If I go check my desktop and I open up that map that I just made, you can see here now I have a PDF map. And this is what I would like you to email me. What I'm going to do is when you email me these maps, I'm going to comment on them and I'm going to send you back map uh, comments on how to improve them and then I would like you to improve them, fix them, and add them to your final map portfolio.